Winter Mist is a generally very vacated territory and you won't find many players around at all. However, there is one place, just one, where you could possibly find the consistent presence of players. And that is the Ice Raptors. Now Ice Raptors are a pretty common place to find both low and high level players hanging out and perhaps one of the most satisfying places to farm as well. I mean, just listen to the background music. But why is this place so thoroughly contested? What treasures await the merciless dinosaur abusers? And are these Ice Raptors really worth your time? As an Ice Raptor veteran with a kill count of over 33,000, I strongly believe that this place is simply not worth your time. So to understand why Ice Raptors are not worth your time, you must first investigate why people farm them in the first place. So let's take a look at their loot table. There are three unique loot these Raptors drop, and those are the Icy Left, Icy Right, and the Frozen Skull. These are the prime treasure of the Raptors, and not only are they crafted into a very special ring, they also fetch a very steep price in the free market. The Icy Left and Right both fetch decent values of 3 to 4 million each, but the Frozen Skull goes anywhere between 50 and 60 million. That's right, a very easily found mob drops something valued so greatly. This is largely why you see low to mid level players training in these areas, but why does the Frozen Skull bear such a crazy price tag? Simply put, the Frozen Skull together with its icy left and right combines into the Torment of Glacier. Note that this crafting can only happen in the Frozen Tunnels. Nothing happens when you attempt to piece the Infinity Stones together at spawn. And this is what the Torment of Glacier does. It gives its wielder a 10% chance to heal themselves by 25% of the damage dealt to one enemy. And this fits the ring slot. Now for the following showcase, I actually had to spend 56 million gold just to test the ring. Yes, that is 56 million gold I had invested solely into your knowledge, so subscribe the f right now. Oh, and uh, do note that once you craft a Torment of Glacier, it can no longer be traded. I paid this noob 11 relics of experience for helping me prove this point, and he got so excited he gave me 30 scallops. He just scammed himself. What a loser. Now with the Torment of Glacier, the more damage you do, the bigger the healing becomes. In fact, all sources of damage will heal the player, and that includes damage from your pets and the damage over time effect of your tomes. When doing area damage, you will have separate proc chances for the healing to happen, meaning your chance of healing increases to 27% when up against three enemies. This sounds good, right? Well, actually, no, it is a horrible item to use right now as there are simply no good reasons for sacrificing a ring slot for it. For example, for mages, this means sacrificing a good chunk of spell power and control for a very small chance to heal just a little bit. And as for warriors, your damage isn't that impactful for the healing to be substantial at all, so you will still resort to using a lot of potions because the healing isn't all that great. And besides, potions are just incredibly cheap for the ring to be justified. So the ring is just bad, we just have to sell the mats, right? Well, yes, it is better to simply sell the parts to other noobs who think the ring is worth anything, that or collectors. But chances are both of these types of players are super hard to come by and 60 million is quite a big ticket for any normal player to even consider. It will be incredibly difficult to sell a frozen skull in the free market and you will likely find yourself with an extremely high ice raptor kill count with a useless frozen skull sitting in your bank. So let's actually take a look at how rare a frozen skull really is. Like I said, I now have a KC of 33,387 ice raptors and I have also looted three frozen skulls in this time. That means a Skull drops on average every 11,129 kills, and from 30 minutes of farming, I'm able to cull 1,322 of these bastards, which is 2,644 raptors per hour. So, on average, I would need over 4 hours of pissing and shitting to hopefully get one skull, and mind you, I am killing the raptors each in one hit. I am speed! So if you needed 2 hits to kill an ice raptor, then it would take you 9 hours on average to find one skull. So no, it is not worth your time farming these ice raptors hoping for treasure. You are much better off farming gold the right way and you may click the link up above to learn the secret to earning gold the fastest possible way. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it entertaining or useful at least. If it was, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more Curse of Arrows content. And this has been Dairy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh, and the first person to say daddy holds my left and right in the comments gets a free pair of icy left and right.